Hey there. Ha ha ha! Happy Saturday! Wow. What a beautiful morning to be alive. I've been up and at it since about 3.30 this morning. And... I've been watching some cartoons. Today has been a real cartoon. <laughs> I really actually love cartoons. <clears throat> because I am a cartoon. When most people accept the responsibility that they are cartoons, they start to muse. Understand that word, muse. It's amusing. You could be mused by somebody else, or you could be mused by yourself. Nonetheless, it is musing, which is amusing. Hence, cartoons. Ha 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 ha! Welcome to Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> now, I've been having a lot of what the fuck moments today. I woke up, uh, I get up at 3, 3.30, um, and I process. I get on the computer, you know, I wish people happy birthday. You know, I look through the notifications, see who wants to friend me. I see all the PMs. I go through all the comments on my YouTube channel. I do this every morning. It's an exercise. I drink my coffee, chill out. I go through all these prompts to see what's going on. But my ambition, I get out the door. I pay $27.50 a month to play on limited golf five minutes away from me. Five minutes. And Kurt, who owns the place, he's way cool. You know, he, he, he loves talking to me. He loves, I mean, I was telling him about one of the cartoons I was watching this morning. And while he was out watering and doing what he does on the golf course, he checked in and was watching the cartoon I was watching. Now, I've heard about this for more than a month. The fellow's name is Cole Robinson. He has the snake juice diet, and he is a trainer, a motivator, and he bitch slaps everyone, <laughs> calls them bitches and cunts and fatties and motherfuckers, and I mean, he just is relentless. He just goes off on everybody. You don't like what I fucking say? Get off my fucking channel. Go fuck yourself. And I was watching him and I was thinking, man, this guy's a total cartoon. <laughs> and he's down with his jive. I mean, I, I get it. I totally get it. But in the meantime, the video I actually was watching had already had like, uh, I don't know, 14 or 15,000 views. And I'm watching money multiply on his channel. Multiply. People are just throwing money at him like he was an evangelist. I was thinking, what the fuck? He's just bitch slapping everyone. Taking no prisoners. No apologies. You know, you get with the program or, or fuck off. And I'm kind of the same way. <laughs> but people aren't pouring money into my channel. And I'm thinking, 
How does he do this? I was totally, like, impressed. I was having a total cartoon moment. I'm watching this guy and thinking, wow, what the fuck? He's calling everybody bitches and cunts and motherfuckers and assholes and jive shit. I mean, he's just bitch slapping everybody and they're throwing money at him. Wow. I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> Man, that's some cartoons right there. I thought I was watching like, uh, you know, some old school like PBS uh, marathon to raise money for the public fucking channel or a Jerry Lewis MS. Uh, I mean, they're throwing money at him. I was watching this. And I'm thinking, wow. What is it? What is it? What's it going to take? What's it going to take? You know, to wake people up. Now, I mean, he's totally on the P. Totally on the P. Okay, now he was doing the snake juice diet. And he was talking about all other things. He even denounced some other shit uh, that he said in the past. He said, yeah, that's all bullshit. Doesn't apply anymore. Drink your pee. Drink your pee. Drink your pee. Drink your pee. If you can't afford the products to make the snake juice, drink your pee. Drink your pee. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. This is what I've been doing all along. I've been drinking my pee. Telling people, drink your pee, drink your pee, drink your pee. But they're throwing money at them. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wow, man, good for you. I don't know how you do this yet. I would, you know, I, I just keep like, you know, I don't even have enough to cover my, um... My internet bill. I don't. You know, come a uh, week or two, my internet bill is going to be due, and I don't have the money to cover it. I spent a lot of money on my car. And I keep thinking, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? Why are people throwing money at me? <laughs> I just don't. No. But I am committed. I'm totally in. I'm a total cartoon. I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Myrtle the Turtle. This would be Myrtle. Okay? Myrtle doesn't exist anymore. Why? I found Myrtle on a railroad track where I go walking. And Myrtle, I don't know how Myrtle got in the middle of the railroad track. I have no clue. But it was obvious to me that Myrtle was trying to climb up on the track and had one of its legs cut off, probably by a train. I don't know. But I brought Myrtle home. I just thought, I'm going to bring Myrtle home. Now Myrtle hung around the yard and Myrtle was eaten completely, completely. Nature and form. Pretty impressive. So now I have Myrtle's shell. And it's a beautiful shell. I mean, you know, this is like natural, beautiful art beautiful art I'm glad to have Myrtle a part of my art collection big time now I've been doing a lot of things lately processing a lot of piss some may have noticed I put up some videos. 
I've been processing the process and I've been recording the process. I have been going through so many levels. So many levels. But here, look at this. That's pure liquid Ormus. Okay? People keep asking about Ormus. There's people that want to go and do Ormus because they want to, like, do sea salt and different things. We produce Ormus perfectly, naturally, effortlessly. And the more you collect your urine and age it, the more the Ormus will collect. Ha! Huh. Now, I welcome you to look at some of the videos I've produced recently on this very subject. Because I'm getting ready to do the next level with my Ormus. Why? Because it is the shed. Ormus is the real potential that comes out of our pee. It's amazing. Amazing. This is where your stem cell enzyme multiply in your aged urine. It multiplies. And then it settles as a sediment, otherwise known as ormus. Now, what you choose to do with your ormus is up to you. A lot of people have a lot of ideas. Me, I'm going to be working on regenerating my teeth. That's my first objective. I'm going to use that Ormus with crushed eggshells, organic, natural chicken. You know, my friend Rosalind sent me these eggshells from her own chickens. And... I'm going to put a little bit of uh, diatomaceous earth just to make a paste. It's a paste. I'm going to start brushing my teeth. Well, <laughs> they'll soon be teeth, my gums, with the total intention of recreating my teeth. I'm going to recreate my teeth. I'm going to show how this works. Chinese scientists have already proven this fact. You can regenerate your teeth by using your stem cell enzyme from your urine. Ha! Huh. You can do it. I'm going to do it. My intent. So, <clears throat> cartoons, cartoons, cartoons. It's all fucking cartoons. Every bit of it. I know I'm a cartoon. I'm a total fucking cartoon. This Cole Robinson, he's a total fucking cartoon. He's off the hook. I was tripping watching him this morning. Man, I mean, I don't know if I could say fuck that many times. <laughs> and bitch slap everybody. Call them cunts, bitches, dickwads. I don't know. He fuck, he, he just laminated that shit. I mean, he just had layer after layer after layer. And if you don't like what I fucking say, get off my channel. And money was pouring into him. And I'm thinking, wow. You go, bro. <laughs> Somehow you got this shit dialed up. And now. Now it's not even about the snake juice, it's about fucking drinking pee. It's all about drinking pee. Big mystery there. He's on it. I'm actually going to reach out to the British if he wants to have a conversation with me. You know, just for the fun of it. Why not? I have all sorts of people that want to have conversations. And, you know, I'm just having fun hanging out and seeing what I can learn. 
I want to learn as much as I can from anybody, everybody, always. I just want to learn what I can, and if I can share knowledge, awesome. But I'm not hung up on any of it. I recognize I'm a fucking cartoon. I am. Pure and simple. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to have another cartoons today. <laughs> Technology cartoons. I love these cartoons the best because if you are connected to devices, these devices by design are obsolete almost about the time you buy them. It's just a question of time when they fail. That's how it works. I don't care if your phone, your TV, your washer, your dryer, your refrigerator, your microwave. It doesn't matter. They do this shit by design. So you buy more shit. <laughs> it's pretty clever, really. Well, well-oiled machine. Now, <clears throat> I get this notice from Verizon about my options to invest in iPhones. A whole series of them at variable, you know, monthly pricing and all that. Well, just yesterday, my phone, which came with a C cable with a headphone connector, came with it when I bought it. And I paid a lot of money for this fucking phone. I'm still paying for it. I still have $200 left to pay on it. And my monthly process is like, I don't know, I think I pay $87 a month. Okay, so it failed. Cable failed. Headphones don't work. So, I call up Verizon. They're actually replacing the cable. Wow, I thought, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting a new cable so I can put my headset back on and not have to temp listen off a speaker and all that but here is the cartoon they told me this morning oh if you're prepared to pay off the $209 you owe on your phone oh you can upgrade and I said, I'm not prepared to pay the $209. I'm wondering how I'm going to pay my internet bill. I just paid $413 to get brakes done on the car I'm driving. And I still have exhaust things to do. I invest every dime I have. To just be every time I have. I just make it up as I go along. I, I just do. I just make it up as I go along. I have no control of the future at all. Zero control of the future. But this moment now, ha ha, I'm all in. And I trust. I think I'll drink of that. When I was watching this cartoon this morning, people are like, oh no, you're going to actually drink your pee? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> well, that was Cole Robinson. I always drink my pee on camera. Always. I, I, I always drink my pee on camera. Now, I showed something yesterday. Now, this is profound. In my, you know, in my observation, this shit's for real. Okay, since I got back off my road trip, I've just been blasted, blasted 
by ticks. Everywhere. They're biting. I mean, I don't even know where they come from. I don't know where they come from. All of a sudden, I got a tick on me, and I'm pulling them off, and I'm going, what the fuck? Where did you come from? I had one on my dick. And it was shooting blood and shit, and I was like, what the fuck is this? But I am protected. I just keep putting aged urine, and the shit's going away. It just goes away. It's really remarkable to me. It's mind-boggling. I loop a lot. I will loop a lot. But I also love my body a lot. And now I'm getting my orbs down to another level. I soak in my freezer. And that thing is chill. I mean, it really actually is chill. It's like 90-something. It's hard to sleep at night because it's so warm, humid. I go sit in that tub in the afternoon in the sunshine, 95 degrees, and I'm chilling. Ha <laughs> because it's actually cool. It's actually cool. And now, since I processed the Ormus and I add a few more gallons to it, it goes right up to here. When I sink into that freezer, it goes right up to here. I only have to, to like, just brush up over my shoulders the rest of my body is in complete uh submergence in aged urine it's awesome so all these little bites these ticks fuck them they're not getting to me they're not getting to me they're annoying. I agree to that. I pick them off. But they just keep healing. They just keep healing. The shit just go. It just keep going away. I mean, I have some from a couple weeks ago that are barely noticeable now. The when I posted yesterday, I was showing some of the current ones. But then a couple of people mentioned peppermint so i went out and bought peppermint i bought a new spray bottle i bought yeah i i mixed it and i sprayed the shit out of this trailer i took the diatomious earth i spread it out powdered all over the outside of the trailer i mean i just did a diligence thing and i haven't at this point had another tick bite but more importantly what i want to illustrate I have no consideration or concern about the cause and effect of big bites. Me personally. Now, I know a lot of people process this shit. Lyme disease. Big subject. Lyme disease. Doesn't even occur to me. Not at all. Doesn't, you know, I mean, it's just like, and, and, you little fuckers. You know, I pull them off. I mean, I pull them out of my, you know, like crotch and, and under my thighs and off my belly. And I mean, I've been pulling them everywhere, including my dick. But the shit's healing. It's healing. I'm actually healing all of it quickly quickly it just you know this the, the scabbing and all that shit it takes a day or two but it's going away so how can you heal yourself how can you heal yourself how can you be the best person you can be how can you overcome all of the things that have caused you mass distress. D 
disease, illness, inconvenience, loss of time, energy, focus. Drink your fucking pee. I'm telling you, I've been repeating this redundantly, relentlessly, from the beginning. You want to see results? Drink your pee. Drink your pee. And then <clears throat> when all else fails and you're in doubt, drink your pee. It works. It just works. It's a gift. We've been given this gift. It's a natural order of our physiological nature. We were given this gift. Along with imagination, we were given this gift too. No other species has imagination. Every other species rolls on instinct. The challenge most humans face is that they are overthinking everything, not trusting their instincts. They have no clue. They just don't trust their instincts and generally... Your first gut reaction to anything and everything is the correct one and we ignore it and we mind fuck. We start going into a whole nother, <clears throat> another fucking realm. But I'm just saying, it's simple like this. You can drink your pee and heal. You can drink your pee and heal. You can clean up your pineal and your pituitary and your joints and decalcify and no more ossification, you know, get your alkaline in balance. You can do this. And you don't need to have anything extra involved or included. I mean, you can. Optional. You can do all the herbs and all your special waters and juicing and, you know, whatever. But drinking, pee, and fasting... These are the fast tracks to the higher good, to actually having a healthier body, mind, heart. It's the fast track. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know what anybody else is going to do. Me, I do the best I can. I wake up every day with a new outlook. I just look at the day and I go, what do you have? What's next? What's going to be appearing for me? And I never know. I have no idea. That's why I love golfing at dawn. I was out there teeing off at like 5.40 in the morning. Why? Well, number one, I can. In a twenty-seven fifty a month, that's under a dollar a day that I can go out and walk this park, play golf, under a dollar a day. That's actually the best investment that I have. You know, over my cable bill, my phone bill, my insurance bill. I mean, I can't argue with under a dollar a day for awesome Zen meditation exercise. Mm -hmm. Now, what you eat while you are drinking urine, raw ass. <laughs> I, I eat one meal a day on a general average. I can go for days, sometimes not eating at all. I get all the nutrients that I need um, from pee. I eat because I'm Pavlovian, like most of us. It's just a response mechanism. It's a comfort thing. Most of us are having oral fixation oral fixation starts early and that could be sucking on lollipops chewing on gum drinking sodas eating food spoonfuls of sugar 
you know, whatever it is, we got to put shit in our mouth. That's the fixation. It is an addiction. And most of us have it. We're all experiencing this same dynamic. Trust me. Thumb sucking, cigarette smoking, drinking, eating, you know, sucking dick, licking pussy. It doesn't fucking matter. We have this oral fixation. If we could just shut our fucking mouths, which I have trouble with, obviously, we'd do a lot better. We could just shut our fucking mouths. Quit putting shit in our mouths. We'd do a lot better. I work at it. I claim no perfection. What I do claim is that I practice. And I'm always in the process. This is all I claim. I'm always in the process of practicing. With the intent of improving my life. I work at improving life. Um, now, uh, this Robert is asking about weight gain. <clears throat> I guess um, the 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 question went by. Um, but you can bulk up. You know, it's all up to you. Now, I'm not a nutritionist. I don't make any claims. You know, by nature at this point, you know, I've um, basically walked away from a lot of food. Now, I was a professional chef, so I had a lot of dedication to food. And um, I had a lot of blood in my hands. Now, almost four years ago, I decided I would become a vegan. Now, that was optional. And, you know, that brought on a lot of controversy among the people I knew because now I'm you know being viewed as pretentious oh he doesn't eat meat he doesn't do dairy oh you don't want to eat the cheese <laughs> I went three and a half almost this is almost four years but recently I've eaten things that I hadn't eaten in years. Now, am I still eating them? No, not necessarily. I was on the road. I ate them. Oysters, fish, chicken, ribs. I had a fucking burger in Montana. But did it change who I am? Did it change what I'm doing? Did it make me worse? Did it make me better? It didn't fucking make me anything. Nothing. No thing. Why? I drink my pee. I drink my pee. And the pee works. Pee works. It just works. If you want to balance your body, drink your pee. You want to gain weight? Drink your pee. You want to lose weight? Drink your pee. You want to cure your disease? Drink your pee. I don't know how much more simple I can make it from my experience. And I want to assure you, I never tell people what to do. Even though I'm strong in suggestion, I'm a motivator. I mark it. But more importantly, what I share, I share what I do. I tell you what I do in order to achieve the results that I have. Now, you want to achieve results, do something. Whatever that is. You know, if you want to juice, juice. You want to do the herbs or do the herbs. You know, if you want to fast, fast. You want to drink the pee, drink the pee. It's you that is going to be the difference in your life. Not me. It's not me. I'm just telling you what I do. 
and me, I'm happy with the results. I am happy with the results I produce doing what I do. And what do I do? I drink my pee. Everything else I do, that's up to me. That's personal choice. What difference does it make to you what I do? I mean, really, honestly, let's get real. What difference does it make to you what I do? What are you doing? How much are you doing to improve your life? I mean, what are you doing? Some people bodybuild. You know, some people, you know, fast, run, this, that, the other. Me, I go out and do a Zen thing every morning. I play golf. I walk an 18 hole. I swing my clubs. I'm in the moment. That's what makes it a Zen meditation. I don't think about the last shot. I don't think about the next shot. I am the ball in the moment. It's how I roll. It's how I live. And I live every moment in that. Every moment. Be here now. Be here now. Are you upset? Are you angry? Are you disturbed? Are you disillusioned? Why? Why are you going through any of these gyrations? What separates you from your brilliance, your amazing experience of self? What separates you? Conditioning? Belief? Indoctrination? Education? I have no idea. Me, I surrender. I do. I simply surrender and allow trust. And the results? I don't know. For me, they speak for themselves. I really actually am a very happy camper. I'm a happy camper. I actually, now this is crazy cool shit, okay? Now you're in Orantown. Now, I, I live on like 89 acres. It's pretty amazing, really, quite frankly. And it is an emerald forest. I walk around naked. I spend most of my day walking around naked. Be, why? Well, it feels good, number one. And more importantly, I can. I don't have any neighbors peeping in. They can't even see me from the road. Nobody, I mean, you know, it's like, why wear clothes? What's the point? And not everybody has that kind of luxury, but, you know, me, the moment, I do. And I exercise the privilege. Because... I am purely natural. I do the best I can to stay natural. Now I do all sorts of goofy shit. I'm a human. Human in training. So I do goofy shit. I do things that people go, oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. You know, should, should, should. You know what? Fuck you. I don't like people shooting on me. I just do what I do. And I take responsibility for it. That's all. I put my pee in plastic. Oh, you should never put your pee in plastic. Aren't you afraid of the leaching? You know how dangerous that shit is. It's about as fucking dangerous as chemtrails or the 5G. I have pea coat protection. 
I vibrated a high frequency, a real high frequency. It's like wearing a fucking cape. I understand this. I understand this. I don't argue with this stuff. Not at all. It's a gift. P is a gift. Either accept it and receive it or you ignore it and treat it like it's a toxic waste. Me, I embrace it, accept it, love it. <laughs> I love my pee. It has worked for me in ways that nothing has ever worked for me in my life. Ever. And at this point, it really doesn't matter what I do. It just doesn't matter what I do. It does not matter what I do. As long as I keep drinking my pee, rub it in on my body, sitting in soaks, you know, do your enemas, you know, whatever you're doing, pee works. It's a gift. It's a blessing. Natural order of our own universe. And if you don't trust your own body, I guess you're going to trust a doctor, a lawyer, a mechanic, a spouse, a preacher, a politician. An educator, a professor. If you trust all these other sources as the truth, yeah, you're going to get what you get. Yeah, I trust myself. It's all an inside job. It's an inside job. I trust my instincts. I listen to what comes through me. That's what I listen to, what comes through me. And, you know, I love people. Most people just don't have the, I don't know, maybe the capacity to include, embrace, or incorporate these abstract ideas because they just don't resonate. Now, I posted something on my page and in the High Vibe Tribe and all that. Um, it was an experiment in a um, observational experience. And it proves something profound. Now, this thing had a, it was a bunch of marbles. And the marbles were released and there were like, I think it was seven columns. Every one of these marbles went to their own column. They were all colored. Not one of them went to the other column. Not one of them went to the other column. They all, it was like a rainbow on the bottom. This is an exercise in quantum physics. It's all about the law of attraction. This is Quantum Physics 101. Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever your resonation, whatever your vibration, whatever you're putting out there, it is a law of attraction. So, if you're not happy with yourself, if you're not happy with your world, then everything around you sucks looks like shit, you might want to reconsider what you are thinking about because it is a natural law. This is natural. You can fight and argue and <clears throat> do all you want to rationalize and reason it out and justify your own bullshit. You know, it's up to you. But I'm just saying, this shit's for real. You want to have an improved life? You want to have a happier life? You want to have more love in your life? You want to have all these? Then own it. 
become it. Don't pretend it, be it. And you will generate a vibrational response. We are electromagnetic fields and we're mostly liquid, which makes us conduits. And if we actually decalcify, we actually get a higher frequency. Me, I call it the higher frequency. And this shit works. <laughs> It so works. It just works. So quit being such a bitch. Quit pissing and moaning, driving and crying. <clears throat> Don't crash and burn. Wake the fuck up. Get with the program. Just get with it. You can do it in a lot of ways, but, you know, to me, the P is the fast track. It's the fast track. This is the way you can accelerate. P is an accelerant. Fasting, also. You want to cure your shit? Quit eating. Drink pee. Don't eat and drink pee. Fast track. It works. Get to the Ormus. A new dawn is coming. <laughs> the dawning of the age of Aquarius, the water bearer. Think about it. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, the water bearer. Dig it. So, <clears throat> i tell you something else. These are more cartoons. Okay? This shit is just cartoony to me. Last Saturday after cartoons, I picked up my mail. I had a piece of mail. This mail came from Social Security. Social Security was informing me that because... I'm coming up on 65 that starting in July, they're going to take $134 out of my already measly stipend, which reduces my monthly down to like 500 and, I don't know, $43. Picture that. Picture how your life would look if you were existing on basically about $125 a week, including whatever, you know, paying for cable, paying for a phone, paying for insurance, putting gas in the car, doing this and that and the other. Imagine that. Now, they'd already cut my um, food allotment from $193 to $28. Okay, so now I got down to $28. I'm now going down to $500. And I'm thinking... Wow. <laughs> I guess I'm about to go totally full on breath air in because I haven't got enough to do shit, you know, as far as eating or, you know, any extras and all that. I'm looking at it and I'm going, wow. So <clears throat> I made it my intent to give them a little ringy dingy, which I did on Monday morning. And I'm going to tell you what happened. I called up Social Security and I said, is it possible? Do I have an option? Can I opt out of Medicare? Can I just opt out? I don't need a doctor. I don't need this shit. I don't need to have a discount on drugs. I don't need any of this. And they're wanting to charge me for it. So, what Social Security informed me of is that the state, okay, and I live in Missouri, so they gave me the number, they gave me the code, I called them, and this is what resulted, this is what I learned. Now, 
the state is actually going to pick up that cost. Now, it takes a couple months to go through the system. So for July and August, I am going to be reduced that money. But in the meantime, because of that reduction, they're going to up my food allotment from 28 to 102 for two months. Come September, they're going to actually cover that cost, so my amount will go back up to where it was, and Social Security will give me a refund for the two months that they were taking that money out. Now, the reason I'm telling you all this, I could have just rolled over. And go, wah, 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 you know, like, you know, you know, man. I'm proactive, motherfucker. I ask questions. I have no resistance to find out what is actually so. And as a result, there's your result. It's all going to get straightened out. And for this, I'm grateful. I am grateful. I survive. I exist on really a very, very small amount. Very small amount. That's why I was so impressed with Cole Robinson. I was thinking, man, this guy is bitch slapping everybody and they're throwing money at him like a preacher. <laughs> I thought, fucking you go, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, I watched him in that one hour, and my guess is that, I don't know, there had to be, I don't know, several hundred dollars being thrown in his direction during that hour. I was like, wow. I needed... I didn't even know how he does this. Maybe I should just bitch slap people more. I don't know. Maybe I'm too kind. You know, I tell you know, people say, Oh, you know, you say that F word too much. This guy says fuck every other word. Every other word he says fuck. Fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, fuck me, fuck that, fuck, 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 fuck. Every other word. <clears throat> He's a trainer. He's a coach, a physical trainer. And I'm thinking, wow. But I also know this. You know, if you actually know Tony Robbins, he doesn't have any hesitation of telling you about a fuck. Most people that are really serious in their training, they're not hung up on words. They want to get your attention. They want to drive a point home. And I'm one of those people. I'm not hung up on the words. I had somebody actually come in yesterday that attempted, and I leave it at that, attempted to message me, which I declined and ultimately blocked. And what this person told me is that my posts on urine therapy groups are annoying. I'm annoying. I'm annoying. Cool. Thanks for sharing. Now go fuck yourself. What do I care what you think? I don't. If people didn't want me in the groups, they would just ask me to leave. They just ask me to leave. And you know what I'd say to that? Fine. <clears throat> you don't want me in your group? You don't want me posting? If you don't want me contributing? And this is what I consider myself as a contributor. I contribute. I post shit. That's what I do. If you don't want me posting shit, just say... Quit posting shit. And I'll quit posting shit. 
It's not hard for me. I'm not obsessed with it. I just spread the shit around. I've learned. You know, if you want to see where the wildflowers grow, you spread the most shit around. Because then wildflowers grow. Ha <laughs> ha! That's where they grow the finest. Usually out by the shit house. That's where the greatest wildflowers grow. By the shit house. And I am a shit house. You can think I'm full of shit, but I actually process a lot of shit. I push shit around. I process the shit. So, if you don't like my shit, fine. Don't listen. Pretty, pretty simple. This is simple shit. You don't like my shit? Don't hang around and listen. Don't smell it. Don't touch it. Don't taste it. Go find some other shit you're interested in. Pretty simple. I call this simple shit. That's all. And I'm not hung up on it. Shit is shit. You either process it or you contain it. Most people that contain it are full of shit. Really, they are. You can see it in their pallor. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their behavior, their attitude, and every other spot that you can visualize. They're full of shit. And if we're not willing to process our shit, well, good luck on that story. That gets really old. It just gets clogged up. And it can happen in the mind. It can happen in the heart. It can happen in your body. It can happen in your attitude, your behavior. That shitty stuff can happen all over the place. It just happens. So you want to come clean? Or you want to be shitty? Personal choice. Me, I do the best I can to process shit. That's what I do. I do the best I can to process shit. My shit. Not your shit. I don't care about your shit. It's my shit I'm dealing with. Deal with your own shit. Everybody's got shit. Everybody. Everybody's got shit. And if they don't deal with it, they don't process it, they don't move it, they don't own it, they don't handle it, they're going to be full of shit. That's it. So, who do you want to be? Where do you want to go? How clean do you want your experience to be? Me, I'm going to do the best I can, that's all. I'm going to drink my pee. I'm going to move my shit around. I'm going to soak in my <clears throat> sit bath. I love that thing. <laughs> On a hot day, it's so cool. It's so refreshing. But I handle my shit every day. Because that is my responsibility. Nobody else's. Mine. My responsibility to handle my shit. And I do the best I can. I encourage you to consider it yourself. Yeah, and others around you. Call them on their shit. You know, people are... <laughs> people, you know, like they blast that bullshit on you all day. Call them on it. Say, oh, no, nah, man, I'm going to just have to hit that fucking bullshit button. The bullshit meter is like, boom. But a lot of people, oh, I don't want, you know, that's eh, my mom, you know, it's my sister, it's my wife, it's, you know, it's, you know. I could never call them on their shit because they, are, you know, oh, God, you know, that would be so embarrassing. Fuck them. Call them on their shit. Call them on their shit. You'd be amazed what happens when you call people on their shit. Call them on it. See who answers. Just see who answers.
Me, I'm okay with the response. I don't care. I'm not attached. Just not attached. I just do the best I know how. One moment at a time. Every moment I breathe. That's all I can offer. I just do the best I can. Every moment I breathe. There's a lot of people that don't like me. There's a lot of people I don't like. Now, I've learned to unconditionally love myself. I unconditionally love myself. I have a lot of self-love. And that's, nar- that's not narcissistic, uh, narcissistic or egocentric or any of that shit. I just unconditionally love myself. I allow myself to be myself. The I am, I am. Now, with that, it allows me to actually love others in the same frame. I can love others like I love myself. Now, do I like them? Most of them I don't. I can love unconditionally, but like is another whole definition, and most people are full of shit, and I don't like them. I wouldn't hang out with them. Let's put it that way. I wouldn't be hanging out with them. And that includes my own family. And I don't even hang out with my own family. They don't even fucking want to know me. I only have one brother that actually even will talk to me. One brother. That's the way it rolls. But I do the best I can every day. I just do the best I can every day in every way. I just love people and let them be, let them roll. But there are people I really do embrace. And we actually see each other. We see each other. We're mirrors. And for this, I'm grateful. These are my tribe. I got a lot of tribals, people I really embrace. They see me, I see them. Namaste. Beautiful. Nice to see you. It doesn't happen all the time, man. It just doesn't. But when it does, embrace it. Embrace it. Don't ignore it. Embrace it. Allow it. Trust it. Know it. Because this is precious. This is your tribe. Find your tribe. It's a reward. Open your heart. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Open your mind. Allow. Trust. Surrender. Accept. Your tribe is out there. They're out there. And they're waiting for you to say, Wow, where you been? Where you been? I have been waiting for you so patiently. Oh, man. It's so good to see you. It's just so good to see you. Embrace that shit. Know it. I celebrate every moment I breathe. And I am grateful for every tribe, friend, family, anybody that shares their love. I accept it. I appreciate it. And I thank you. I love you dearly. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I am a cartoon and I watch cartoons. I watch a lot of cartoons. I've got my eye on you. I do. And if I see you as a cartoon, Welcome to my tribe. I welcome you. Big
time. On that shit. <laughs> on that shit. Be the cartoon. Own your shit. Get over yourself. You'll be happier. You'll have more fun. I guarantee you, you'll have a whole lot more fun. Quit taking yourself so fucking seriously. It just isn't a healthy choice. It's just not. It's not healthy to be so serious and significant. It's just not a healthy choice. Realize you're just as fucked up as everybody. We're all fucked up. We are a human experiment. We're an experiment. And when you look at the humans and compare to all other species, we fucked up big time. We're fuck-ups. The humans have fucked it up. We fucked it up. Can we fix it? I trust we can. I trust that we can. Be a part of the shift. Be a part of the paradigm shift. Be a part of the consciousness shift. Be a fucking a realist. Know your cartoon. Show up. Be accountable. And enjoy the ride. Actually live like you're alive. Do this shit. It's worthy. It's way more fun. And you actually deserve it. You do. Why wouldn't you deserve to be a happy fucking camper? Why? Why, why, why? Why wouldn't you deserve to be a happy fucking camper? Because somebody told you you're not worthy? Fuck them. I don't care who them is. Fuck them. Get with your own program. Write a new script. Be the director, the producer, the star, the makeup and the costume and the script writer. The set designer. If you don't like the scene you're in, write a new scene. If you don't want to be in the scene you're in, write yourself out of the scene. Just dolly back. Fade to black. It's just a film term. You just dolly back and fade to black and you're no longer in the scene. You rewrite the script. You can do it. I don't care if it's your mom or your sister or your husband, your preacher, your pa. Fuck them. Rewrite your script. You can be a happy camper if you choose to be. It's a prerogative. It's an option. Everybody has the capacity and the capability of accomplishing this very simple idea. Like I mentioned before, the quantum physics thing that I posted about how all the marbles separated down into their own color sequences based on resonance. It's all what we resonate to. It's our vibrational level. We're electromagnetic fields. We can attract whatever we choose. Whatever we choose. So if you love misery, misery loves company. You're going to find a lot of it. You like anger? Guess what? You'll attract a lot of it. Rage? No problem. You want to punch somebody in the face? You're going to find people that want to punch you in the face as well. <laughs> Funny how it works. But if you want love, if you want hugs, if you want to embrace all the goodness, guess what? Put that in perspective. Write that into your foremost front end of what you want to have in your life. What you think about, you bring about. Know that. It doesn't get any simpler than that. That's how it works. There is quantum physics 101. Like attracts like. It's energetic. 
and it's absolute, nobody escapes these basic principles and laws of application. Nobody. You cannot, you cannot change how this works. All you're going to do is fuck yourself by ignoring it, denying it, pretending it doesn't, you know, You'll get the results you're looking for. Trust me. So, with all that being said, what I want you to know is I love you. I love you. I do. Absolutely. Unconditionally. Endlessly. I do. Good chance I may not like you. <laughs> There's a real good chance I may not like you. But love you. Unconditional. Absolutely. So, you know, if you want to tell me that what I do is annoying, I'm going to just tell you, go fuck yourself. You know, and I don't mean anything by it except what I mean. And I mean, go fuck yourself. I don't give a fuck what you think. If you think I'm annoying, that's what you think. You know, I ain't, if I think I'm going to change what you're thinking based on what you think, I think again, I know that I'm not going to change your thinking. You've already decided what your thoughts are. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing, being, here, having at all. Zero has nothing to do with who I'm being. It's about who you're being. Namaste. Look in the mirror. Now, I guarantee you, this is something that I know well. I know how to play a perfect mirror. So if you want to show me asshole, if you want to show me anger, you want to show me rage, I'm a good fucking actor. I can get up in your face and show you hate, anger, rage. I can show you all that shit in a perfect namaste. Do I prefer it? Do I want to? Do I like to go there? Fuck no. I like love. I like warm embraces. I like beautiful smiles and bright eyes. That's what I choose to attract. And I do. That's my experience. But I have no fear. You think you're going to fuck with me? I have no fear. I, I you know, I'm not, <laughs> it's just not my MO. I have no fear. You think you're going to intimidate me or, you know, offend me, you know, because, you know, oh God, he's so politically incorrect. I'm completely incorrect. Aren't we all? I mean, really. The more correct you are, the more normal you are, the more, you know, you're in coordinate and compliance and condition and all that shit. You're so fucked up with your head up your ass, you don't even know how much it stinks up there. That's what they count on. That's what is counted on. That you'll keep your head up your ass and just march in line. Follow protocol. Don't question anything. Oh, God forbid you question anything. You'll pay a higher price for admission. A way higher price for admission to life. Your life. You'll just be another shackled slave. You know, marching in line. You know, being a slave to your debts, whatever it is. Your job, your mortgage, your insurance, your car, your wife, your kids. You know, whatever it is. There's, slavery is so simple anymore. It's not hard to enslave people. It's actually uh, very simple. How it's worse. So, you choose your choice. It's all choice. It's our prerogative. So, 
I think that I have had a lot of fun being a cartoon this morning. Ha, 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 and I am a cartoon boy, I swear to God. I can't take myself seriously. I mean, I say a lot of shit, and I know, I just babble on, ramble, you know, ramble, and, you know, people go, oh, you know, uh, whatever, I don't fucking care. Don't want to watch? Don't watch. My channel, my show, my prerogative. So if you joined me, you enjoyed yourself, I enjoyed you as well. Ha <laughs> ha and thanks for coming in. I always appreciate everybody. I do, I appreciate anybody participating. This is fucking awesome to me. The fact that we have these kind of options, these mediums to, you know, diddle in. You know, this is just diddling for me. This is Saturday morning. I'm just having fun. So thanks for joining me. I know that I love you dearly. Always love yourself. Hug yourself and anybody that's around you. Give them fucking love, man. Love them. Love them. See what they do next. And always know that boom. Hey. You just been loved. Peace out. Enjoy your day. Ha <laughs> ha. See you around. <laughs>